Yo guys, what's going on? Robert Warshak here, and earlier today we had the announcement that the new mini set was going to be Anixia's Lair, but we had no cards. But now we actually have some cards that we can be going over and talking about. Uh, some of them seem kind of powerful, some of them seem not so powerful. Uh, with this set only being 35 cards, it's helpful to have all of the cards being of decent power level that they can we be weaved into the decks that are currently being played or new decks that are to be created with these but i think when we look at this mini set and know that the rotation like i mentioned so many times before uh is only a short month or two away i don't think they're going to have the power level of these new cards being released super high uh because then if the new set they release is a lower power level uh, these cards will shine too high, but with all of the super high power level cards that are going to be rotating out, leaving the meta and the card pool at its basically lowest power level that we have each year, I think more than likely a lot of these cards are setting up archetypes to be good once the new expansion of this first, uh, the first expansion of this year to come out. So while these cards may be good, I think this is more of a setup until, you know, the rotation and that expansion. So the first card we're going to take a look at is Spawn of the Deathwing. Uh, this is a five mana, six, six. So great in stats, good in mana. Battle cry, destroy, uh, destroy a random enemy minion, and then you discard a random card. I said there would be no Deathwing in my video earlier, <laughs> but long behold, we have Spawn of Deathwing which is technically just a mini Deathwing. <laughs> so I was very, very wrong saying there was no Deathwing. There's actually just a mini one. <laughs> uh, this card is like, I guess, bad. I don't know. Discard Warlock isn't necessary. I don't like discarding cards from your hand at random because sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Um, so this is just a five mana, six, six. Anything that does stuff with like five mana, this could be a random card, you know, that gets summoned from that kind of deal. So not really too much to talk about with that card. Uh, Deep Breath. Uh, five mana. Deal one damage to a minion and its neighbors. Improved by the number of spells in your hand. So let's say most of the time with like Spell Mage, you're going to have a bunch of spells in your hand, right? So this could do like five, six, seven damage to three minions uh, potentially, right? It's a fire spell, so it can be used with Hot Streak. The only problem I have with cards like this is if they ever take away the mass draw that is right now in Hearthstone. Like right now, draw is so easy. Every class has access to so much of it. Looking at cards like Multicaster, which now gets weaved into a lot of decks, whether it's a burn deck, a quest deck, Muzaki OTK, you know what I'm saying? So there's so much draw that cards like this are fine. But back when, when you didn't get to like pay three or four mana and draw three or four or five cards... That if you were to like top deck this card, like let's say you have three cards in your hand and you're trying to save resources and you like get this card and there's only like one or two other spells in your hand, like paying five mana to do like three damage to minions in the late game is really bad. So while this card is good now due to the fact that people's hands are always full of cards, whether they're drawing them or randomly creating them, this is good. But if we ever step back and get into a meta where the card draw kind of slows down, uh, this card's pretty bad. In my opinion i don't like i don't like my expensive spells being dependent on things that may not be happening later in the game i don't like requirements for my aoe cards this is an aoe card i don't like a requirement put on that just be good like fire sale <laughs> yo thanks for making it this far in the video and if you do watch my content and enjoy it uh, remember to sub we have over 53 uh, percent of people who are watching this channel not subbed and just under 47 percent who are subbed uh, it really helps the channel out and shows to youtube that people are watching and enjoying the content which recommends more people who may be interested but not yet watching so with that let's get back to the games and enjoy we have light mall neither drake uh we have a four mana four four dragon so stats it's pretty average uh battle cry if you're holding holding a holy and and a shadow spell deal three damage to all other minions so there was a card very similar to this back when it was a four mana three three and uh if you were holding a dragon it did it did it did three to everything so this is just like a shittier version of that card because holding a shadow and a holy spell is kind of a lot considering you know that's now two like i don't know i don't like these hand requirement cards like, you draw this later, it's bad. If you get it early, it's good. It's a cool card. 
but like I don't like it and it looks like it doesn't even look like a dragon to be honest its face looks like a shark I'm gonna be completely honest that's a face of a shark not really that exciting to me however this card looked quite exciting we have the Enixian Drake this is a four mana four five huge stats and it's a dragon taunt and battle cry deal damage equal to your armor to an enemy minion that's insane <laughs> this card in combination with the new frozen buckler uh with the rock thera hero with heavy plate i mean this is a straight up shield slam built into an already decent minion with the dragon tag and with taunt this thing is unbelievable this thing is super 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 good the only thing is it says enemy minion and not like any minion and there are some times that hitting your own minion is cool or it's the correct play um but for the sake of the argument obviously this is very very good but like being able because shield slam you can shield slam your own minions or enemy minions um this can only be enemy minions so while it's still like a very very good card just having it to be anybody would make it just even a little bit better but yeah this card's super sick very very good dragon control warrior is one step closer to maybe being something that's something uh, a Nixian Warder. So these are the guys who you'd actually have to kill on the way into uh, the raid to get to the Anixia. Uh, it is a 5 mana 3 6. So very similar stats to the Spell. What is it? Spell Ward? Uh, spellkin. Back when, when that was a card. And it says Battle Cry. If you're holding a dragon, summon 2 2 1 Whelps with Rush. So you basically get a 4 2 if you have a dragon and he's a 5 mana 3 6. That's not bad. Um, that's not bad at all. Uh, that's pretty good. So, while this may look underwhelming, it's like, eh, it's a five mana. Eh, eh, it summons two things, and those things are dragons. This is a dragon, and they come with rush automatically, so they can clear off two smaller minions or clear off one midside minion with four. So, think of this as like a five mana three six deal four to a minion or something, or deal two split twice. Like, it, it's pretty, this is a pretty good card. Basically, like half a Sneed Shredder. <laughs> Welp Bonker. <laughs> Three mana, one, five, frenzy, and honorable kill. Uh, you draw a card. This is actually not too bad because it has it's it's three mana and it's five HP. We've learned that this is a lot of HP that early on. And the I don't think the attack necessarily matters here. I see this being like woven into, I don't know, maybe some sort of like token deck or buff deck. Or maybe it's just an arena card. It's hard to say exactly where this will land. But most of the time, you're definitely drawing a card with this. It's a 3-mana 1-5 draw a card at the least. And its best is a 3-mana 1-5 draw 2. And like in the early game, this being woven in, deal some chip damage, and then finally kill something with like one, you know, one attack or whatever. I mean, that's not... It doesn't seem like the worst card. This would have been a little bit more interesting if it was a 2-mana 1-4. It might, it might have actually just been too good as a 2-mana 1-4, to be honest. Like, I would slot that into, like, every deck I have. So, yeah, maybe a 3-mana 1-5 is the way to go on this. Uh, but I do, this is the first time we're seeing Frenzy and Honorable Kill in a card, uh, which is kind of sick. Don't stand in the fire. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the world of Warcraft and what there are things to do in the world of Warcraft... Um, normally when there's fire on the ground, it is bad and you take a lot of damage. So for the best players that I've seen in World of Warcraft over my 15 plus years playing this game, some of the best, most powerful allies I've had love to stand in the fire. And as we can see here in this five mana shaman guard, that it does 10 damage randomly split among all enemies overload one. It being an overload card is quite big because now it gets woven into that quest shaman, which is not going to be rotating. Uh, it's also at that five mana mark, so it can be casted twice at 10 mana, which is I think is very, very important. It only does enemy minions, so it's slightly different than its predecessor, Volcano, uh, which did quite a bit of damage to everything on the battlefield. So overall, very, very good AoE card. So I think it, I think it's it's a, it's a good AOE card for Shaman. Right now they have like Landslide and Pep Flame. So I think some of those are actually rotating. If I'm not mistaken from my video that I faintly remember a couple weeks ago. So you might see quite a few of the classes that 
already have a large quantity of, of AoE, get more AoE, uh, just because a lot of it is getting rotated. And then I guess the last card was just the Anexian Whelp card, uh, which gets sums off that warder. So overall, how many good, good cards do I think we have here? We have one, two, three good cards out of the seven. So a little less, eh, about half-ish, a little less than half are good. The Bonker is going to be interesting, and I think Deep Breath and Spawn of the Deathwing are going to be just generally kind of bad. Deep Breath is, I guess, maybe okay, and then Spawn of Deathwing is like garbage, right? So, yeah, uh, decent so far. This is only 7 of the 35, so we have quite a bit to go and quite a few more cards to cover. Also, Brian Kibler had mentioned that his card is going to be one of the coolest cards, if not the coolest card that he has ever um, seen in Hearthstone, so hopefully he has a really cool dragon or some effect of a card uh, that's good because, you know, Kibler being excited about dragons and what they do makes me excited about dragons and what they do. Uh, so with that, sweet, looking forward to the new mini set. I will see you guys in the next video, of course, covering hopefully some more cool cards. With that, I'm Robert Warshak, and happy whatever the hell day it is.